Now time for Calling All Sports with Rock and Manoush with Jimmy B on Fox Sports 910. All right, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. We're out here at Twin Peaks in Glendale, our home every Thursday, thanks to Blue Moon and Coors Light. Specials going on every Thursday, kicking off the NFL season next week. we got college ball starting tonight in week one. So great place to watch football this season to make plans at any of the five Valley Twin Peaks locations and take advantage of those Bud Light and Blue Moon drafts as we are excited for the season to finally be here. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll catch up with Eric Williams from NFL on Fox. He's the NFC West beat writer. Also, you will have an opportunity to win a $25 Twin Peaks gift card if you can uh, if you can defeat uh, Danny today yeah. from Twin Peaks as it's our Peaks Picks, which we do at 340. You better be ready. She can bring it. Yeah, she's pretty good. She so we'll have some it. fun. Uh, I do want to start with this. I'll do anything for a beer. And really, Rock? It, it, for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's Guinness because, you know, my dog's name sure. is Guinness. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm all about Guinness. So a buddy of mine said, hey, you know, we're trying to figure out our draft order. Trying to figure out our draft order. And we need some help. And he said, hey, what if I send you our 12 names and you put them in order on which are the most creative? So I'm going to go 12 to 1. Okay. And I will say this. They suck. <laughs> they are terrible. And it's these, they're a group called B&I, and it's uh, Platinum. It's one of the groups. B&I is a huge business networking co- uh, business that I've been involved for so many years. I have, haven't been in the last, but I love what they do. But these names... They're obviously not sports people. I mean, they're just not. I mean, like, I looked at, you know, here's, here are good ones. Okay. Like, you know, designated drinkers. Hangover <laughs> on downs. Two-pint conversion. I like that. You know, make fantasy football great again. That's a good one. <laughs> Women rule the world. I mean, so they're, those are the good kind, right? Okay. right? Yeah. And then you look at some, like, for Cardinal fans. Natural-born Kyler's. Or Kyler Extincts, or Murray <laughs> Christmas, or Murray's Miracles. Those are pretty good. And let, let me throw in some Marvin Harrison Jr. in there. Marvin's Room, Mighty Marvin Power Rangers. I like that. Marvin, uh, marvelous Marvin. Uh, what else do I like here? I like uh, Harrison Jr. High. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I like. I like this one. Junior Achievement. Good oh, one. I like, like that one. So it's yeah. a really good one. So here are the order 12 to 1 for our buddy who is going to buy me a lot of Guinnesses for doing this and wasting <laughs> my airtime. Number 12 is Bad Beats. Really? Yeah. It sucks. Come on. Come on. Yeah, turn on Scott Van Pelt. No, sure. Yeah, yeah, he does right, have right. Bad Beats. Number uh, 11, Throw It Far and Nar. Stupid. What? Uh, 16, or excuse me, uh, uh, I wrote it down here. So 12. 11. 10 is Hail Murray. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. It's been bad. used. It's before. been used. Yeah. yeah. Next up is Secure Your Roster. What? These are these are terrible. Wow. <laughs> these folks uh, need some help. Yeah, they really do. They shouldn't be going to these networking. No. Meetings. Um, zero points down. What? All right, man. Get out the yuck. No. <laughs> Number crunchers is six. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Five. Yeah. I don't know if they're getting better. I I really didn't even need. They could just give me anything because they're so bad. Number five is we will floor you. (laughs) Number four. That's awful. Givers and gainers. A little better. That's not bad. Better. It's not bad. Okay. Number three because they did next next three are okay. Okay. End zone express. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. We're making some progress here, Rock. Number two, Tom Selleck's mustache. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What does that? Right, and ahead. number one, yes, who will have the get the draft first? Shake it, golf. Shake it, golf. I can see shake like it, shake it, uh, shake it, golf. Yeah, I can see shake it and bake it, but I mean, like yeah. golf, golf as in Jared yeah, golf. We yeah, I got it, it. we, we got, got it, Jared yeah. golf, yes. <laughs> Awful. Yeah, those are bad. I mean, like, how about like you know, I don't know, Bus- business nerds, cardiac Twitter. cardinals, or the Madden curse, or I don't know, make fantasy football great again. That's a good one. <laughs> how about the Murray up offense? 
Yeah. Something like that. You're yeah. terrible. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. all. Right. That's going to cost at least a keg. At least. <laughs> all right. Are we getting too much Belichick? What do you mean? All right. He's already signed a deal to be on the Pat McAfee show right. every Monday yep. this season, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's going to appear on every ESPN Manning cast. Okay. He's <clears> also <throat> part of Inside the NFL as an analyst. He's a host of a show with the Underdog Network. And now he just agreed with Omaha Productions with Peyton Manning to do the breakdown with Peyton and Belichick on ESPN Plus. I think that's a little much of he, Belichick. He, he's striking it while he's hot rocked. I mean, in five years from now, we have the same schedule, probably not, but I have no problem. I love listening to Bill Belichick. I do too. I, I enjoy what he says about the game. He's got some personality. Yes. He, the way he talks about certain things. The, the Taxachusetts thing the other day was great. Yeah, was I was good. watching that live. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you go, Bill. I mean, he's got more of a sense Ripping of humor. That Democratic city. Yeah. And so he'll, I, I think that the, the, the context he has for the game that itself. Yeah, Stuart Rock, it's going to stay like yeah. that for a long so, time. I, hey, Brad, did you, you, both of you, I gave you homework, and none of you have mentioned anything in the homework I gave you. I gave you something oh, to I saw, read. Yeah, yeah. But there's no, but nobody's saying anything. And it was a, it was a, it was all facts. No, it there, wasn't. A, it wasn't a Fox thing. It was a CNN thing. We don't need to talk about yeah. it right now. But all I gave you're yeah. like you guys. All you guys, no, you won't listen. No, no, I'll here. listen to you guys, but you I, guys I listen, won't look. I Unrealized. The, okay, I saw the counterpart to what you sent me by sixteen economists that shot that down. They have they have no I, have no. What do you mean shot it down? I so it's it's a policy that they're going to put in. I got the policy, but they're saying this. They, they countered it, that it, policy. What they're what was who, going it, on now? Economists how, can't do it. They're not in. They're not government. But the, <laughs> the economists were saying what they'll be able to do hey, for that. Travis and Jason Kelsey, yes, are taking their new Heights podcast I'm glad to Amazon. Got the show back on the rails. A hundred million dollars over three years. Wow. How much do you are, are you they that good? Manucci? How much are you paying Manucci and I for this show? I well, I don't know why I pay you anything. You should do it for free the way you guys vote. <laughs> well, it, if, 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 it, yeah. Yeah, if it goes if it goes our way, you'll be looking for a job too, yeah, Rock. Really? So I think it's no, good. I'm the one who makes the money. Here. <laughs> I'm the one who pays you guys. So <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm don't gonna, worry. I don't think I'm going to have any problems. I'll, I'll pay the extra tax you charge me as well too. Yeah. I don't have a <laughs> whatsoever. Really? That's what we need to see. We yeah. can all get along. Yeah. If, uh-huh. if, the, if the if the left can, I will they don't pay, mind paying tax. I will pay my fair share. I will pay what's Deal. fair, what's equal. And I'm going to deliver you another show. Yeah. So you'll make more. Hey, money Rock. I'm just happy to that. have that job, man. I'll be good to go. Um, uh, you know what? ESPN is launching something I think is pretty cool. It's an app that shows fans where they can tune in to watch games, and it do, and it's not necessarily games that are on their network. It's called Where to Watch, and this is a great feature to basically – and, Jimmy, you don't need to listen to this because you can't download apps. But if you <laughs> download an app – On my iPad. Oh, your, yeah, your iPad. Yeah, I'll put yeah. it on my iPad. You can download it, and then basically you can just search events, games, whatever, and it's going to tell you exactly where – where to go to watch it? Okay, yeah, that's I, awesome. I like that. And and so if you want to watch, like for me, I want to watch the Ohio Bobcats. All right, yeah, American Conference. Yeah, I don't know where they're going to be. Right, you know, CBS Sports Network or CW somewhere or some little cable and company with, with everybody all scattered all over the place. If cable they're not access. a not a major network, then you're going to you know. Is the Roku's or Rooks or whatever type of thing? Uh, it's Roku, and it's free. It's Roku, Manu. Roku, yes. Roku, Roku. <laughs> In fact, I tried to go that once, couldn't find it. Said, Forget it. <laughs> you can't. I mean, you got to have a TV that has it. And we didn't have it. So yeah, you wouldn't. It has to be an app on your TV. Look, so, uh, to me. I'm explaining things. So, uh, Shador Sanders, Sanders yes. is the first college football player to sign an NIL deal with Nike. Now, that's he signed a footwear apparel deal. Of course, Colorado is a Nike school. They are. They play tonight, and I hope they get beat. I hope they win big. I hope they get destroyed. I hope they, I I'm hope done they, with Dion. I'm big. done with Dion. I mean, jeez. So that's I'm you, not done with Dion. I, no? I, I find no. I find it entertaining. And look, I get why you don't like him. I don't. I'm not going to watch. Why the game. do you think I don't like him? Be, just because of his personality. And I style. like his personali- okay. personality. I don't then, think it's right to cut off. Uh, media uh, members, reporter. Mr. Look. Journalistic Integrity yourself. All right, let me explain. Sean Keeler, I know from his days working at, in Des Moines, Iowa, for the newspaper there, 
and then he got the job in Colorado, in Denver. Denver Post. Denver Post, correct, working with uh, Woody. They, they both work at the Denver Post. And so Woody Page. Yep, correct. And so this is something that what? Sean Keeler has done his entire career. And that he's is, a columnist too, Jimmy. He is a columnist. Yes. What, what he That's is, his job. I'm well aware of that. But he always drops so-called nicknames, if you want to call them that, uh, that are unpleasant for the person that he's talking about. And that's what he did to Dion. That's his shtick. And it worked for him in college. And now he did he cross the line, a, Jimmy? You know, he didn't I'm cross not, the line. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I know he's a columnist. It is his opinion, and I respect. You can't that. take the I heat. Let me tell you, Jimmy. Yes Wait. or no? Did he cross the line? He crossed the line so yes. by by using disparaging nicknames. He just couldn't refer to him as the coach or Deion Sanders. For me, that yes. would be crossing the line. So that means yes. Yes. Yeah. Why can't you play by play guys just can't answer a question? Because so I, I, no. I had he didn't even answer why he's rooting for Colorado. Yeah. Well, that's and why he wants changing. Colorado so Jimmy, to win. So, Jimmy, let me ask you. So, a guy has a columnist. It's his he, job. He is, yep. He a can column, throw whatever. Yeah. I've been ripped by columnists. Okay, but my he can, he can put whatever little nickname he wants out there. I'm well aware of it's that. Okay, if you're a head coach yes. and you can't take the heat, yep. get out the kitchen. I, I disagree with that. Why? Because this, is, this was different. I, I think Dion was wrong to address it the way that he did. And and I like I like Sean Keeler. I, like I said, I've known him. So I think I don't think Dion should have addressed it. I just think he should have okay. ignored it. Let me ask and you this. That, and that would have been yeah, better, real quick better. before we go to break. Before quick, how about the guy from CBS, the local CBS guy, where CBS parent company rated him number what 16 out of uh, the Big 12 conference. He won't talk to the local guy because he the, the like national guy didn't, like didn't like his rating. They like that. So no, you got to cut that guy. That. That's what triggered that. the Sean That's the whole deal. thing. Yeah. I thought what... it was just Sean Keeler. No. no. It, it, no okay. it started before that. Yeah. That's okay. why I think it, if it was one instance, yeah. I could see. But this is multiple. So, oh, okay. And he did it where he was before, too. In, in you want to change Jackson, your opinion yeah, now? So. No. Nope. Hey, coming up, our first dog, the first dog, to ever throw out the first pitch in a Major League Baseball game. And – 